Kathy Bohannon, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to make this really neat card. I love it because it's different from what we usually make. It's got the little card that goes inside the pocket. And really, you're not using a whole lot more materials than you typically would. Okay, I first saw this card made by France Martin. I don't know if she's the designer, but I made a few changes. Okay, first I'm going to use my Stampin' Trimmer. So we're going to cut it in half. So I'm going to go to the five and a half inch mark right here. I'll just kind of gather these two corners in my fingers and hold that. And then I'm going to gather these and just kind of flatten the two edges. And then using my bone folder, I'm just going to make a crisp edge. That's going to help us a lot in this particular card because now we want to make this pocket. So I'm going to cut this at two and a half inches. There's my two and a half. And I'm going to stop right when I get to this spine. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to cut again right on the spine so I can take that little chunk out. Okay. So I've cut everything else. I just wanted to be sure and share that part with you so that you would know how to do that. And this is the actual color I'm going to use. This is garden green and we're going to have coordinating colors to go with it. And I love the garden green with this right here. Isn't that pretty? This is our new paper collection that's in the Occasions catalog, Painted Blooms Designer Series Paper. And it's got leaves on one side and stripes on the other. So what I want to do is build this up first. Okay, this is where we're going to put our little honeycomb. And we're using Butterfly Basics. This is a photopolymer set. And whenever I'm using photopolymer, I like to use my Stampin', Stampin Pierce mat. And this one, I try not to ever use it for actual piercing, but I wrote photopolymer on there so I would be sure not to mix it up with the one that I actually pierced with. Okay, so we're going to take our little honeycomb out. Okay, so I have a little scrap paper that I'm putting over my Stampin' Pierce mat. Put this here, and I'm going to use Hello Honey. I'm going to go ahead and do all of my stamping. I'm going to start with this pretty flower here, and let me line them up a little bit better on my block. I don't want a dark flower because we want to be able to um, put the greeting on there. See how this one's a little lighter so you can write over it if you want to. I'm going to make this one light. So first I'm going to practice. I'm going to use my Wild Bulls Hobby. Stamp off once and see the, how light that's going to be. So that I do like that. So, okay so I got all my stamping done. And you see these are just um, like I stamped off and then stamped onto this card. Same with the butterflies. And then I stamped this in baked brown sugar so it would stand out a little bit. And you can write on this card. Okay, so now we're going to assemble it. Oh, and I also stamped this little butterfly. And we'll punch him out in a little bit. So I'm going to use the back of this. So we're going to use our Stampin' Up! Um, Stampin' Pierce mat and our paper piercer to put a brad in like this one. I went ahead and put all my brads together in one container. And I've got the uh, neutral candy dots. Okay, so get a little dot here. It's 
Isn't that cute? Fold it back on the back. Like this. And I'm going to use the um, mono liquid glue. And this is a this is available through Stampin' Up as well. I just like the way it holds, especially when there's other elements on the paper, such as this twine, this linen thread. And you can also scooch it around a little bit. You've got a couple of seconds to get it positioned like you'd like it. Okay, and then also with my liquid glue, I'm going to put a very thin line around this edge. And I do mean thin. You don't need a lot. And we're just going to do one, two sides because we just want to close the pocket like this. And you don't want it to goosh out. Goosh, that's a crafting term, goosh. Okay, so we'll let that dry for just a second. So now we're going to punch our little butterfly. And this is the sweet little butterfly punch. This is how you can identify your punches in the drawer on the shelf. And underneath, there's a lock here. And you press this and it opens up. It's like a clamp. Like that it locks down and it opens up. And you always want to stamp looking at the what you would think is the wrong side of the punch. So I'm going to line this little guy up and it perfectly matches and I'm going to punch him out get some glue dots I'm going to put two on him just because I want him to stay you know how butterflies are, they fly away fold his wings up a little bit put him right there and my little card fits right down in here. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Here are the two cards. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all have a blessed day.